Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another vlog. We are currently up and out at 7 a.m. on our way to our technically 19 week, but our 20 week anatomy scan for the baby. And this is gonna be the kind of like the big milestone appointment where we're gonna confirm gender and everything, and then also just get everything checked out. So we've got our anatomy scan, ultrasound at a separate location from our actual doctor. So we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna head over to the doctor right after. But I had to get up. 5.30 this morning because I also have an event literally right after this appointment and so I had to get up and put a full face of makeup on at 5.30 this morning and a dress and heels so I'm all done up for this appointment but it should be a really really fun day I'm super excited to just get to see the baby again well we're super excited this is Jay Wallace is here <laughs> but we're super excited to see the baby again it feels like every moment in between you're like I hope you're doing okay so this will be like a good kind of check-in for that and then we're gonna not find out the gender today but we're gonna have the doctor put it in an envelope and then we're gonna give the envelope to one of our friends who's going to text a girl who's making a cake for our gender reveal that's coming up this weekend and then we're gonna get to find out the gender in like three days what's today wednesday wednesday thursday Friday. yeah three days uh jason's family's coming in town on friday gender reveal will be on saturday and then we're gonna know i've honestly kind of loved not knowing it's been really fun because everyone's like obviously they congratulate you when they find out you're pregnant and then the first thing they ask is like do you know if it's a boy or a girl yet and so we've been like just honestly been able to say no we don't know and that's been really fun but i think we are getting to the point where we want to know we want to know who we're praying for we want to be able to start thinking about how we want to do the nursery and all that stuff so super super excited for today's appointment hoping obviously that all goes well and then like i said i'm off to a lunch today with tart they're in town for i think maybe just today and they're doing a lunch at white limousine which i think is the dolly parton hotel like the upstairs if i'm correct and that should be really fun because i just love the tart team so much if you guys have been on my channel for i don't know maybe the last two years now at this point i have just been working closer with tart and they're just really incredible people so super excited to see them again i feel like no lie november hit and every single brand on this planet decided that this was the perfect month to host their event in nashville which i'm like where were you guys in august or oh, september or any other month <laughs> this entire year i feel like this it was kind of weird i feel like kind of around september i was like oh man there haven't been very many events this year i wonder if brands just aren't doing events anymore and then it was like as soon as we went on our italy baby moon so many things popped up for november it's like everyone decided that the busiest month already for us would be a perfect time to slot in some more in-person events so we got a lot going on this month but i did want to vlog this week because obviously we're doing our gender reveal wanted to keep you guys updated and so we should be having a really fun week all right we just got out of the anatomy scan and the like doctor visit after got updated picks up the baby everything looks good everything checks out sadly though we are gonna have to come back in a month because they got visuals of everything but the baby was in a weird position not a weird position but like in a position where they couldn't get a really clear picture of the heart they got like a like an okay picture but one that they wanted to like follow up on so nothing to be alarmed of we just have to come back and hope that the baby will be in a good position to actually see the heart really really clearly also, it was moving around a lot that whole appointment. The <laughs> the nurse was constantly just like like trying to to get good pictures of everything because they do a really really detailed ultrasound, which was really fun. We actually had a student in the room with the actual nurse who was learning about like all the different photos that they need during like an ultrasound like that and so we actually got to learn basically every body part of our crazy. child really which involved. was kind of fun i feel like she really took her time with us because she was also teaching someone so it was just like a fun moment to get to see all the different parts of the baby and the nurse pointed out like the eye sockets and the nose and like just different little bones and arteries and things that i feel like they probably wouldn't normally walk through every single 
part of that with you so that was really fun that we got to do that but yeah we are gonna have to come back in four weeks and do another ultrasound that should be a lot quicker because they're just gonna be looking for this one thing and the baby will be bigger by then so they should be able to see a lot easier but very relieved everything looks good we got the envelope with the gender and we're gonna drop it off with our friend Jim tonight so that he can text our cake girl and let her know what color to do the inside but it's so exciting we're gonna find out so soon and um i'm just feeling very relieved that everything checked out and looked really really good obviously so happy that baby's healthy i'm healthy we're both doing really well so it's a good appointment This try-on is sponsored by Lulu's. All right, I just got back from the Tarte event and it was so, so fun. I really do love the whole Tarte team and I really only get to see them maybe once a year. So getting to see them twice in one year was really, really special. We are gonna do a Lulu's try-on now. I am so excited for these pieces, guys. If you've been around on my channel for the last probably like three or four years now. I have shared Lulu's pieces with you before and they have so many cute dresses for the fall. You guys know that I have obviously been wearing a lot of sweater dresses and just trying to find some more bump friendly pieces, especially this week. I don't know what happened at week 18 and I wouldn't say that I like fully popped, but like I definitely can tell there's a bump now. I feel like even a week and a half ago, it was still a little bit like, could be bloat. I feel like now, as soon as we hit like week 18, it was like full on bump. So I am very, very excited for these pieces because I tried to pick out pieces that would be not only like bump friendly, but also would be pieces that I could wear postpartum. So I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got in my Lulu's order. First up is this green dress. I've actually been wearing this since 5.30 this morning and I got so many compliments on it at the doctor and then at the event today, but it's this beautiful cord dress. I ended up rolling the sleeves on it. I love this color. It's perfect perfect for fall. This would be such a good dress to wear for Thanksgiving. It is a kind of like midi length, so really great length and has buttons down the front. I feel like this is definitely a great dress if you're not pregnant or if you are like first trimester going right into your second trimester, I feel like you can get away wearing this. It doesn't have a lot of stretch, so I'm going to show you guys some pieces that are a little bit more bump friendly as I continue to progress, but this dress, guys so cute next up i got this mock neck it's a heathered gray really really cozy material and i liked this one because it's a little bit longer so again it's going to be super bump friendly i really just envisioned myself wearing this with maternity jeans or with leggings and i feel like this is just a really good kind of cozy basic piece the next thing though i just oh, i love this color so much so this is a kind of like shirt jacket it's more of a jacket than i would say like a, a top it's a little bit thicker but i really love the color on this it is such a beautiful neutral and again i envision this over leggings or maternity jeans with a really great like chelsea boot this will definitely be a great fall staple first sweater dress is this black fitted dress and i just thought that this would be perfect for the bump because it kind of breaks up the top and bottom you can't really see here but hopefully you can see it in the cutaway right under the bust so it's perfect if you have any sort of bump sometimes if things have like stitching around the waist that doesn't really work when you have a bump so this is actually perfect because it hits right under the bust so it like perfectly fits the bump but you can't go wrong with black super classic i love just like how thick this knit is it's super super nice another knit dress that i got i feel like i could wear this throughout my entire pregnancy 
It is this kind of straight fitted sweater dress. So it's not super fitted, but it does have a tie on it, which I feel like will be super nice because again, I can tie it higher up around the bump as it grows. And I thought this would be so great with a cute pair of boots. All of these dresses, I feel like you could really dress up or dress down. And again, none of these are maternity. So if you're not pregnant, these are all great options as well. But as somebody who's now having to take into account a growing stomach, this is like the perfect dress. Next up is a really cute gingham dress. And if it's not cold on Thanksgiving, I honestly might wear this one because it just feels so fall and cute. So this is a little bit of a shorter dress. I think it would I guess I would call it a mini dress. It's gonna hit above my knees for sure, but it's got smocking around the bust here and a really full skirt. I love the plaid and just this color combo is so pretty. I think it also comes in another color combo, but I really loved the brown and the black. I also love the little puffy sleeves and this would be a great dress to throw like a cardigan over with like a knee high boot. Next up is this really adorable sweater dress. So this one I think would be so so cute if you weren't pregnant, like especially cute on you if you're not pregnant. This is a mock neck chunky knit dress and I really love the shape of it. It has these really big kind of like puffy sleeves and I really love the knit pattern on it. It's super gorgeous. Also, it does have a little bit of an open back, which makes it a little bit more interesting and unique, but I just, oh, why is it so cozy? It's just like the softest material ever. And then the last piece is actually a two piece set. And I just think this would be so cozy to wear around the house, but also you can wear it out. I feel like you have a lot of fun mixing and matching these two pieces. But if you were looking for a really, really cute, like around the house, but still feeling really like put together outfit, this is it. So this is a maxi sweater dress it's a ribbed material and i just got this in my normal size because it has a lot of stretch to it so i feel like i could wear this like almost through the end of my pregnancy so again i feel like these pieces are just so versatile and i love the neckline on it. it's just really really simple i could throw a denim jacket on over it a leather jacket could wear it with combat boots i could wear it with heels I just feel like it's so versatile and I love the fact that it comes with a matching cardigan. So this is the matching cardigan and it is also a maxi cardigan. So it's basically like wearing a robe out into the world or again, if you wanna wear it at home and just like lounge in your cute knitwear, this is seriously so perfect. This I feel like would also look so good over like your favorite tank and leggings. I just feel like this is such a fun little set to have, especially if you are pregnant and you're looking for something super cozy, but put together, I really love this and the color is just so good. But I'm gonna have all of my Lulu's pieces down below in the description box as well as the sizes that I got. I also have a discount code for you guys. If you use the code Chloe20, you can get 20% off of your order, which Lulu's is already an incredible price point for how nice the pieces are. So definitely be sure to apply that discount and save some money. I am gonna go see what Jaywaz is up to. And then I have another event tonight, which I feel like I just I told you guys there's so many events going on, but I'm going to pop back in with you guys Guys, I think on Saturday and we're gonna be prepping for the gender reveal and all that good stuff. Good morning guys. It is Saturday, which means that today is the gender reveal. We find out what we're having today and Jason's family got in last night. Well, just his mom and dad. So we went out to dinner with them, but we've got all hands on deck. Mr. Even, P. Even these tiny hands. These tiny hands. These tiny oh. hands are on deck and ready to help. I don't know if you guys saw my story the other day, but okay, ever since we got back from Italy, Mr. P, specifically, Riley has been a little bit more clingy, but Mr. P has been a total lap dog. Like anytime I'm sitting down on the couch, anytime I'm like, even just standing in the kitchen, he wants to be like held or he wants to be in my lap. And I think he knows. Nah, you, <laughs> no. don't <know. laughs> um, you don't know. <laughs> but anyway, so it's kind of all hands on deck here. We're doing like a very casual ginger reveal party, but we wanted to like have some of our closest friends and family here and then, you know, have some breakfast. So we're gonna have Lady Bird Taco, K 
catered. So Jason's dad is gonna go pick that up this morning and then his mom is also gonna help with grabbing a few bundles of balloons. Honestly, I think, what day was it? Was it on Tuesday that you were like, do you have any decorations? Maybe Might have been Wednesday, yeah. Do you want me to do something? <laughs> yeah. Which like my thing is like, I'm a big fan of those like dollar store streamers that you just do corner paper to corner. Ones. That's my go-to. So yeah. I was ready to start throwing those up everywhere. <laughs> So honestly, like we've had so much going on with work that it hadn't crossed my mind beyond setting up the actual like thing that we're gonna do, which is the cake. So I set that up and we obviously sent out the invite a couple weeks ago. But as far as like decorations go, like did not even register that we would need or want decorations. But then on Wednesday, Jason was like, do you want decorations for this? Are we doing something for this? And it made me realize like I didn't even order the cake topper that I had like planned or anything like that. So on Wednesday, I am on primed a bunch of stuff for the party and i think it's actually going to be really cute it's very yeah to put on the top of the cake you want to show them it was a little just like a little sign yeah, i thought like everybody got one. oh yeah bring the stickers too <laughs> so this is our cake topper that i had to get shipped to us very quickly little boy or girl team stickers that people can girl pick out or team Boy. Wait, leave a leave a comment down below right now before oh, you find out what you think it is. Jaywaz and I have had this feeling that it's a girl, but only because Jaywaz has been convinced it's a girl and then it's slowly worn off on me. There's no reason. Mm -mm, no reason. I'll be I mean, obviously, we don't I'll know. I'll be pumped about either. So. Yeah. I think when I first got pregnant, I was like, oh, boy because I just know a bunch of people around me who are having boys. I love the idea of the oldest being a boy. Jason's the oldest and he's a boy. <laughs> and so I just loved the idea of like, oh, like obviously I want I want one of each, but I was like, oh, it'd be nice to have like the oldest be a boy. But ever since Jay was, has been convinced it's a girl, in my head now I'm like, oh, it's a girl. So if it's a boy, I think we're gonna be genuinely more shocked because in our minds, we have just for some reason been like, Oh, it's probably a girl. It's probably a girl. So if it's a girl, obviously we'll be so excited. If it's a boy, it will be like more shocking to us. But we're gonna be so excited because I just I love the idea of like the older brother. So we have the little cake topper stickers. I got some cute little lanterns to hang from the ceiling. I think it's just a pack of four or five. They're all just kind of neutral. We're not going super crazy like pink and blue. My mom is grabbing some flowers that will have some pink and blue, I think. And then the balloons will have some pink and blue, but I think everything else is relatively like kind of neutral. I'll show you guys where we're gonna do the setup, but cute little lanterns. I just thought these were so precious to hang. We'll probably hang them from these lights in the kitchen, which like are kind of like not our vibe, but they've come in so handy every time we throw a party because you can hang little streamers from them. I feel like they're so they're so functional for hanging decor. And then I also got these um, tissue paper tassel garlands, which I didn't realize you have to put together. So I need to do that. It has instructions, it looks easy. But again, kind of like neutral, like probably more blushy greens. Like I think there might be some gold in this. I don't know, went more neutral. I had to get a tablecloth for our table because the one that I had was for our old table, which was too small. So I got a tablecloth and then just some brass candlesticks that I've had like since, I think since our wedding. Did I thrift these for our wedding? I can't remember. I used them for something kind of around that time though, but brass candlesticks. We've got a little table runner. I don't know if I'm gonna use that. Candles, some more candlestick holders. We've got bagels. Jay was like I said, his dad is picking up the tacos that we have ordered and a cake. So I'm gonna do a little bit of setup this morning. Again, it's not much, but I think it should be really cute and fun. But Jaywaz and I are gonna like stand behind it so that like friends and family can kind of be around and then we're gonna cut the cake and find out. I like couldn't sleep in this morning. I woke up like three or four times starting at like 4.30 because I was just so excited and I just can't believe we're gonna find out today. So while Jaywaz attempts to steam that. You're gonna slay it. Because you know you're gonna have to come in. No, 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 I think it's just, it's just a weird, it's just a big size, I don't really know. Uh, that's where I do it. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna put together the little garlands. 
How many? Oh, wait, there's probably multiple colors. Do they give? They do give you the string. Okay. So, do they give you the string? Or? because it's taking way too long and the teeth getting tangled and it just my it doesn't make sense in my brain to do it the way that they say so instead we're gonna just fold it over fold it over again fold it over again and then roll it since i'm probably not gonna use these for anything else i think it's fine and then roll it there see how much faster that was and then twist the top Fold it over, tie a string. I just think that makes more sense. I don't know why they would suggest doing it the other way. Okay, I figured it out. This is literally the easiest way to do it. So you fold, fold again, <laughs> fold one more time. Then you roll it all tight. And then you twist it at the top like this. Twisty, twist, twist. And then you fold it over to make the loop. And then they all come with twist ties. And you just twist tie it around like so. And I don't know why they made the directions so confusing and complicated and slow. Basically the same thing. so cute. Yay, I love it. It looks perfect. Just some cute little lanterns and decorations to hang. got changed because we're having my friend Hannah come over and shoot just some photos of us. Got my Lulu's dress on. I'm so excited, Mr. B. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to just over. So the brand Cuddling Kind sent me this really cute baby animal collection. And I put out the little weenie dog toy that my mom got us. She obviously doesn't know it's a boy or girl, neither do we, but they didn't have a girl version, so she just got that one. And then I thought I would just put little, little pals around just for the cuteness vibes, you know? Aren't these the most precious little toys ever? I don't know how to get these to stand up though. Hmm. Put one on each. Yes, yeah, so you get to pick which. I want one of each. <laughs> which does it, does Either one. 
Oh. Mr. P. This is my baby. That's right your baby. Here. Is thinking it's a boy, but I think it's a girl. Well, so now we have both options. <laughs> One, yeah. two, three. Thanks for coming. We love all of you. We're so grateful for you guys, and we're just thankful for the ways that you've already walked with us and the ways that you'll continue to do that as we have a child. Um, <laughs> How this has gone down, we obviously we don't know the gender. We got it written in an envelope on Wednesday, and then gave it to Jim. Jim. So Jim is truly the only person who knows. Jim is the only one who knows. So Jim went and picked up this cake and allegedly inside is the color. And if, there, if it's not, we're just gonna have Jim announce. That's what they tell me. And then me. Jim will just announce. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then I think after, let's, you know, we'll celebrate your pictures, blah, blah, blah. I think afterward as well, my, my dad wanted to lead a little prayer time over the kid if you guys were all down for that. I think that'd be kind of sweet. So, yeah. let's cut this buddy. Let's find out if someone needs to do it. Keep it. Keep it. Uh, my stomach is literally... It's a thick one. Oh, she's thick. Really thick. She can see it. She what can are the see crumbs? It. <gasps> wow, it came out clean. Crap. <laughs> Do you have a plate thing? you're gonna slam? This oh no, I don't. That's what I know. I was like, oh. wait, okay. Look at this guy. Where's the ring? I don't know if I can do this thing. Oh wait. Ah! Having a girl. Entering my girl dad. <laughs> um, it's crazy. I feel like not mind blown by it. Like genuinely because I I just we both felt like almost this entire pregnancy that it's been a girl. And so okay. that yawn smelled like a fish, bro. You stank. Oh a stanky brother. Mr. P ate an entire thing of chopstick tonight, so... We don't know how full it was. We got good. into Jason's mom's purse, and so we're a little bit like... Eh. But we... Yeah, I feel like, honestly, we were shocked in the sense to have it confirmed was, uh, like, awesome. But I feel like when I saw the pink, I was like, duh! Like, I just had that, like, yeah, yeah that's... Freaking, yeah. That's, like, right? So, yeah, we're so excited, obviously. It's crazy to know, for sure. Now I'm in my, like, planning phase where I'm like, okay, I can actually think about like the shower and like what I want to do for the registry and the nursery and all these things. And um, it just feels a lot more like concrete of, of what's going on. It's true. Yeah, it's going to be such a good girl day. Can't change it now. I know. We're all in. <laughs> but um, we're obviously super excited. We had people here um, for maybe like a couple hours after the actual reveal. So we just hung with everyone, which was super fun, just getting people together in general. Um, and then Jason's family, or his mom and dad, hung out here, watched some football, we sat by the fire, had kind of a chill rest of the day. We started getting tired at like 5.30 because it's beginning dark here at like 4.45. And those days where you're just like social all day, mm -hmm. get to the end and you're like, woof. You're like dying. So, but we, we didn't want to, I guess we could have gone to bed at like... 6 30 but we tried to try to stay up a little bit longer so watched an episode of the great fish baking show ate some leftover tacos and then just kind of chilled for the rest of the night but we're so excited mm. the little outfits i can't wait yeah we're super super pumped i feel like you had like more of a reaction than i did we posted a little video on my instagram or 
we're collaborators on the post, so it's on both of us. Yeah, I, co- um, I was a key to the Key collaborator. Yeah. Um, but I did a little video of it because I was like, oh, I want to have a video. And I feel like Jaywaz's reaction was like more shocked. I genuinely couldn't see the piece of- I wasn't of... really shocked, I was more excited. Yeah, I had like a pit in my stomach like right as we were cutting. I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I, I was gosh. nervous for sure. Yeah. And then, yeah. And then as I like pulled the cake out, I couldn't like totally see it. So I feel like he saw it first I did, I did. and he started screaming. Then I had to like pull the cake out and like turn it because I was perfectly angled where all I could see was just like the white frosting until I like pulled the piece out. So yeah, I feel like he, he got like the first like, ah! and then I was like, wait, he's screaming, what's going on? So I got to see it and yeah, it just confirmed like everything that we like thought, um, which obviously we didn't know, but it's pretty, it's pretty cool that we like had it had a sense and like yeah. it was right. So we're so excited, obviously. And Today was really, really special. I feel like it was just like one of those moments where we were like, man, we've got a really good support system around us. We've got a lot of people who are excited for us and for our baby girl. So yeah, it was just a really sweet day. I'm really glad we did that. I feel like we were kind of like, should we do a gender reveal? Is that something that we want to try to throw together and host or whatever? But I'm super glad we did it. I feel like we're going to like look back on that as like a really sweet time just with like all of those people. But yeah, any last thoughts, baby girl? Girl dad? No, dude. Outnumbered just, now? Just pumped. Yeah, outnumbered, I guess. Just me and Mr. P. Yeah. Her survivors. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. No, no thoughts really. I'm just yeah. pumped about it. Seriously, I feel like our brains are still like in processing mode. For sure. It's just been like so much day, but obviously we're pumped. But we're going to go ahead and end this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below now, I guess. If you guessed it correct. Or edit your comment and change it <laughs> to the correct one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A pro move. I mean, you guys probably already saw on Instagram, but just in case you didn't, maybe you did put a guess down below. But I had people comment on the Instagram post like, I got it, like, I knew I got it right. Mm. So people, you guys have been making guesses low key. Yeah, yeah we've been guessing. Behind the scenes. We've all been be guessing. guessing. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. We love you guys. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.